Hey, how's it? This is the foundation coming at you with an off-season video. Uh, man, it's been a wild, wild off-season so far. You know, uh, teams trading. You know, it's been it's been like this for the last couple, like two, three years. I'll say, you know, teams are not as reluctant to trade, trade, um, do trades and all that. So, so it's so it's been going on and all that. Um, lot of lot of free agency signings and all that. Uh, I, as far as the NFC East goes, um, you know, they're probably the biggest name, biggest thing out there was the Odell Beckham trade. And, you know, like, I think most people would say that they're not shocked. They're, they're more surprised than shocked. Um, well, for me, anyway. The, the only part, the only thing I was surprised was this, wow, you guys gave them that big contract and then you guys trade them a year later. So that was, that was a, that was the only thing, you know that. <clears throat> um, Case Keenum going to the Redskins. I just think that Jay Gruden is trying to find a way to at least compete to get wins, so so he can keep his job. You know, one playoff appearance since, you know, so. You know, ever since he's been part of the team, you know, Cowboys went twice. Um, you know, the Giants, Giants, you know, Giants went. You know, Philly. You know, Philly won the Super Bowl, and all that. So you know, they. It, you know, he has to show something, and all that. So. So you know, and they and they have a. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that they're going. And with Alex Smith, you know, the his his um. You know his his future is still um uncertain and all that. And I'm not saying they're not going to draft a quarterback because they have some young talent, but. I just think Jay Gruden, you know, if he wants to keep his job, he has to show something and everything. The Nick Foles one. <laughs> that one is like, you almost have to be living under a rock. If you follow football, that was the most obvious, obvious one out there. I mean, you know, Jacksonville was a year away moved, removed from, you know, going to the AFC Championship and then, you know, going, you know, having a letdown season. You know, it's like you know, you know that was gonna happen. That was the most obvious, <laughs> obvious one. The only other team I was, I was like going had an outside chance was, um, was Miami Dolphins because I knew they was like same thing with Bortles. I knew they was done with Tannehill already. <clears throat> I'm talking to my brother too. You know, he he was he was done with Tannehill already. Um, so yeah, as far as the Cowboys go, you know, Cowboys been quiet, which <laughs> I I don't I don't care. Um, I'm not a big free agency guy. I never have, never will be. Um, but you know they are working on they are working on a deal with um, a D Law. D Law, you know, I said this before. Um, I was a little bit concerned that you know, like how Tyron Smith, in a sense that you know, how much production you know, you know, committing that much money, and then with the injuries piling up because you know he's he's had the foot injury. He's had the back surgery. He had, now he has the torn labrum. You know, it's like, you know, how how much do we give him and all that? And, you know, that was my that was my biggest concern. But then after talking to a couple of my coworkers, a couple of friends, um, you know, they conversating with other Cowboys fans and all that. You know, like what what they what they, what some people said to me made sense too. You know, and then and then what what I kind of gather for myself as well too is like, you know, free agency is basically overpay time, <laughs> and we have the, one of the biggest names in the free agency market, and if you're gonna overpay, might as well be a one of our guys. You know, you know, he's a leader. On, he's a leader of the one of the leaders of the team, for sure. One of the leaders of the defense. You know he's been productive for us. He knows the team. He knows the scheme. He knows everything. So it's like, why not? <laughs> you know. <clears throat> so, so I mean, I'm not saying that this throw money at him. It's just, you know, like if we're gonna overspend on somebody, might as well be him and all that. Um, as far as uh, Cole Beasley walking, you know, he's our biggest name that had left so far. Um, you know, with with Dak's contract, with Zeke's contract, with um, Jalen Smith's contract, with Byron Jones' contract, you know, Anthony Brown, 
uh, Malik and Lyle Collins, you know, um, you know, we're going to have some guys in the next couple of years that's going to be up in free agency. So you're not going to be able to keep everybody. So, so you know, Kobe Beasley, you know, he wasn't willing to come down to his, to, to lower down his money. And he moved on. So, you know, like, I would have liked him to stay, but, you know, he moved on. <clears throat> um, as far as re-signing people, you know, well, Damien Wilson is another guy that we lost. Seems like Kansas City likes our, our linebackers. But as far as, like, um, the guys that we brought back or we signed, you know, like, Cam Fleming, I think another year with Mark Colombo will help, you know, get the continuity of the offensive line back back on track and all that. Um, I wouldn't mind them bringing, bringing back uh, Jeremy Parnell, but... Because then we maybe would have gotten him cheaper because of, you know you know he's a veteran you know he was cap casualty and he could get him for the for the um, what you call uh, veterans minimum and all that. <coughs> um, Tavon Austin, uh, Tavon Austin, you know, like I like the signing just because of this this scenario. I like the fact that you know at the end of the year when he came back. He started to be a threat and a playmaker on special teams as a returner. And that's the one thing ever since Dwayne Harris left, we haven't had that playmaker on special teams. Uh, Tackling-wise, we have some decent guys, but as far as, like, the returner side, the threat, you know, we haven't had that. And the thing that I like about that is, like, instead of putting all the pressure on the offense to score or, or, or driving 60, 70, 80 yards, to get a score, you know, you got someone that can take it to the house. They can, they can, they can flip the 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 field positioning and all that. You know, so that's why I like that. And 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 also, you know, defensively too. If we get, you know, if they got to kick up, you know, they got to uh, punt to us, and he can, you know, he can get a decent return. Then we can kind of flip the field position battle on them, and then the defense, the defense can just um, get like. You know, 70, 80, you know, 70, 80 yards, they got to drive down the field. So, so that was the, <coughs> that was the, that was the reason why I like that signing and all that. Um, probably the only name that we really signed, you know, uh, Christian Covington and all that. I seen the wise, the wise remarks about that. Oh, yeah. Look at, I, I'm like, bruh, we need to shore up our, our, um, our, our depth at defensive tackle, you know, like, you know, are we going to get a starter? No, we're not going to, he's not a starter, but, but look what happened, you know, Malik Collins and Antoine was, they both got, they both got hurt in the Rams game, you know, um, I mean, they played through it and all that, but, you know, the backup side, I mean, I know we recite Daniel Ross, but Daniel Ross has flash at times as well, too, but, um, but as far as, like, you know, you know, you know, if you, if you have a chance to upgrade the depth, you know, like, and then and then we can draft maybe a guy that that can you know actually push one of our starters and all that, you know, then then that's the way that's the way you know it should be and all that. So, you know, Christian Co Covington, you know, is is a is a depth is is just depth and all that. And then if it, if it doesn't work out, then the the loss is not as big. So, and if it works out, we got an Antoine, another Antoine Woods on our hands. And all that, so so it could work. It could, you know, the it's a low risk, high reward thing, and all that. So so yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start pumping out some draft video. You know, some draft videos. Um, probably my first one. I will put my pet cats. <laughs> I have some pet cats in the in the in in the, my in in this year's draft. Um, not probably every position, but. But probably some of the key positions and all that. Um, but yeah, so, so, so yeah. I, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get those videos up. All right, mahalo for watching, Paniola boys, and like always, go Cowboys.